Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about prepositions of place. Let's get started. Remember that a preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example over here. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. Note that the preposition in is used to link the noun May to her birthday. Now there are many types of prepositions and among them are prepositions of place. Now they are used to show the position or location of one thing with another. Note that we usually use prepositions of place when we answer the question beginning with where. Have a look at the example over here. Where do you live? I live in New York. The preposition of place in tells us where I live. New York. Now there are three main prepositions of place. A. At. Denotes specific point or location of something. Have a look at the examples below. There is someone standing at the door. The preposition of place at denotes a specific location. The door. There weren't many people at the theater. It's Monday, after all. Again, the preposition of place at denotes a specific location, the theater. And in the sentence, Alex lives at number 25 Emerald Street. The preposition of place at gives us or denotes a specific address. And in this sentence, Ashley works at Apple. The preposition of place at denotes a specific company or workplace. B. In. In implies that something is located in an enclosed space or within a larger area. Have a look at the examples below. I think I left my phone in the living room. Meaning that the living room is part of your house. And in this sentence, Jake lives in the US. He lives in Texas. In the first sentence, the preposition of place in refers to the country, US. And in the second sentence, the preposition of place in refers to the state. C. On. On implies that something is located on the surface. Have a look at the examples below. Could you grab my phone? It's on the coffee table in the living room meaning that it's on the surface of furniture, coffee table. And in this sentence, Jake's sister is on the West Coast. She absolutely loves the Pacific. In this sentence, the preposition of place on implies that Jake's sister is located along a road, river or by the sea, lake, etc. And in this sentence, Alex lives on the third floor. The preposition of place on implies that Alex lives on a certain floor in the building. And in this sentence, sorry, I'll call you back. I'm on the train now. Again, the preposition of place on implies where I'm located public transports, 
My grandparents work on a farm. The preposition of place on in this sentence implies where my grandparents are located, which is on an open field, the surface of the earth. Now, sometimes you can use both at and in when you talk about the location, although there is a slight difference in meaning. Have a look at the following examples. My siblings are at the mall, meaning that you are stating the location in general. Your siblings could be inside the mall, somewhere at the entrance, or at the parking lot. And in this sentence, my siblings are in the mall now. It means that you are specifying that your siblings are inside the mall. That is the slight difference between at and in. Now let's review the use of prepositions of place and practice a bit. Remember that we use prepositions of place when you answer the question beginning with where. Now read the following dialogue and fill in the blanks using the appropriate prepositions of place. Where do you live? I live Paris, but right now I'm living Madrid for a couple of weeks. I live in Paris, but right now I'm living in Madrid for a couple of weeks. Also, remember that we use at to denote specific point or location of something. And we use in when something is located in an enclosed space or within a larger area. Now read the following text and fill in the blanks with either at or in. As you know, my sister Mary works apple. She really likes it there as she doesn't work a tiny cubicle, but an open space office instead. Mary says it boosts her creativity. As you know, my sister Mary works at Apple. She really likes it there as she doesn't work in a tiny cubicle, but in an open space office instead. Mary says it boosts her creativity. Remember that we use in when something is located in an enclosed space or within a larger area. And we use on when something is located on the surface. Read the following text and fill in the blanks with either in or on. I can't believe there is so much storage space. The closet. And look at these cute pillows. The bed. And there are even flowers. The vase. The window seal. The room is just lovely. I can't believe there is so much storage space in the closet. And look at these cute pillows on the bed. And there are even flowers in the vase on the window seal. This room is just lovely. Here is a short story using prepositions of place. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Anne, hurry up. The Smiths are waiting for us at the restaurant. I know, I know. I can't find my shoes. Have you tried looking for them in the closet? Not funny, Nick. I think I might have left them in the living room when I was taking pictures of my new shoes. There are some shoes on the bed. Aren't these yours? 
Oh, that's right. And now I need to find my phone. And I'm ready to go. It's right there on your bedside table. Oh, thanks. Love you. And now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps with at, in, and on. A. My cat likes sleeping my bed when I'm work. B. Peter's relatives live the East Coast, so he doesn't visit them that often. C. Our kids love swimming the lake nearby. D. I am currently living Germany and doing my internship here. E. Were you the party too? I haven't seen you. F. Do you live with your parents or your own place? G. Kylie was the dentist's today. He needs some hugs in the evening. H. Meredith grew up a farm, Idaho. I. I left my headphones home. It's going to be a boring ride, the bus. J. There are so many tasty things. The menu. And now, let's check your answers. My cat likes sleeping on my bed when I'm at work. Peter's relatives live on the East Coast, so he doesn't visit them that often. Our kids love swimming in the lake nearby. I am currently living in Germany and doing my internship here. Were you at the party too? I haven't seen you. Do you live with your parents or at your own place? Kylie was at the dentist's today. He needs some hugs in the evening. Meredith grew up on a farm in Idaho. I left my headphones at home. It's going to be a boring ride on a bus. There are so many tasty things on the menu. Thank you for watching this tutorial.